Hello, my name is Snake Kato, and today I'm teaching you how to write your first program in Python. Let's start by talking to Python in its own language. For this, we need to follow only one easy rule. We need to guide the computer step by step to complete a task. But do not worry, programming is not as difficult as it seems. It is like writing a cooking recipe that our computer will follow step by step. Remember that computers read and interpret instructions literally. So try to be as simple and precise as possible so it knows exactly what we want it to do for us. For this tutorial, I'll be using Atom's text editor with the terminal and Python language packages already installed. If you haven't done this yet, you can watch my tutorial on how to do it and then come back to watch this video. The first function that we will use is the print statement. This tells the computer to write something in the screen. So to be able to start, you have to go to the bottom left corner of your screen on your Atom text editor and press this plus sign. This will show you automatically your terminal. We're going to start by calling Python. So let's write Python together. And then press enter. Do you see this symbol in the terminal? This is called a Chevron prompt, and it means that your computer is asking you, what do you want me to do next? You can write the print statement directly from the terminal just like this. We go print, open parentheses, double quotes, hello world, close my double quotes and close parentheses and just press enter. And as you can see, the computer will do exactly as you told it to. Remember to put this in quotes. It can be either single or double quotes because we want to print a text. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can watch my video about the different types of data in Python. I recommend you to save your program instead of writing it directly in the terminal. To do so, what we have to do is go to File, create a new file, and write our program again. In this case, we are going to go with print, open parentheses, and then double quotes, hello world. Whoops, hello world. Don't forget to name your script and save it in your computer. In my case, I'm gonna save it as program, first program underscore dot pi in my desktop. So first underscore program dot py. So the computer knows that it's a Python document. So I'm saving it on my desktop and we have it ready. As you can see, after you save your program, the colors change. So this is one way that you can check whether your program was saved correctly or not. Also, make a favor to your future self by adding comments on what your program does. To do this, we are going to include uh, the hash symbol and explain what does this program do. For example, this program prints hello world. And every time you make a change, remember to save your changes. In Atom, we're going to see that we haven't saved our changes with this blue point. So let's go to File and save our changes. 
to run our program, it is necessary that we restart our terminal. And to do so, the only thing that you have to do is write exit and then open parentheses and close the parentheses and also press enter again. And we just restarted our terminal. Next, I'm going to ask my computer to show me my program title first program. And to do so, you only have to say, hey, Python, please open my first program. First underscore program dot py and run it for me. So we press enter. And the computer did as we told it to. Really cool, right? We can also use operators such as sums, uh, subtractions, divisions, and so on. Right now, I'll show you how to make some basic math operations in Python. So let's go back to our script and we're going to change it a little bit. Let's use the print statement that we already know and do some basic maths. We write print and let's do one plus three, then print again, this time two multiplying five. Mm, let's also try a division. That would be minus one divided by two. And let's include one last one. That would be two elevated to three. Let's ask Python to run our first program again, but with the changes this time. And as you can see, the computer just did what we told it to. Now that we know how to use print and some basic math operators, let's make this program a little bit better by assigning a value to a variable. So we go back to our script and we erase all of what we have done before. So we can start again. So this time I'm going to create a variable, but it's going to be name. And I'm going to assign the value neck at. Before we continue, I want to stress something really important. Equals in Python is not the same as in mathematics. Here we are telling the computer to store the text data, in this case, snekato, into a word or variable with the title name, meaning that we are pretty much saying, hey computer, Remember that the name is Snekato. Now let's try this. Let's use the print statement and write hello plus the name. And always remember to save your changes. Here again, Atham is telling me that I haven't saved my changes, so I'm just going to Press save. Let's go to our terminal and do the same as we have been doing since the start of this video. And whoops, the computer showed me exactly what I told it to do. And it's hello snegato without any spaces. So I'm going to fix it just by adding one space in hello and saving my changes. So let's try this one more time and then let's run it. And this time we have hello snekato, but with a space. Now that we are talking about assigning values to variables, I also want to tell you that there are some variable names that we cannot use because they are reserved words and they have a specific function or task in Python language. Here you can see the list of reserved words. 
And if you want to have access to it, you can do it so by copying it from the description of this video. Or you can also download the image from my Instagram or Facebook page. And don't worry right now, we will see how to use these reserved words in my next videos. Anyway, let's keep programming and let's do something different. So this time I'm going to create a new variable that will be year. And I'm going to write the year that we are living in, that it's 2021, right? I'm also going to create a variable that it's going to be called next year. That will be pretty much year plus one. And also, I'm going to ask my computer print the results. Remember to save your changes in file and save. And before we run this program, I want to ask you, what do you think Python will do with this script? Hmm. Okay, let's ask Python. Just like we have done it since the start of this video. What? What happened here? We got an error. Why did we get this and how can we fix it? Well, don't worry, like Python tells you a little bit of information about this error. So let's check it, right? It is telling me that I made a mistake in line number two, that is here. And that it's next year is equals to year plus one. And as you already noticed, I made a mistake in assigning the year as a text data type instead of an integer or a float number. Meaning that I tried to sum or join two different types of data. But don't worry, we can fix this mistake easily. We can just erase these quotation marks or we can also use a different function. To change the data type, we can use one of the following functions depending on what we want to do. So, how can we use this function to fix my code? What if I transform this text data into an integer? So, we write int, we open parentheses, we copy the text data that we want to change or cut it and paste it inside the parentheses. And always remember to save these changes. So we just click File and Save. Let's run it again and check if we get no error this time. We go Python, write first program, first underscore program, and that py. And we press enter. And this time we fix the code. It works. And now it's your turn. Fix the original code or improve it in your own way and share it with us in the comments box. And congratulations, you just wrote your first code. Welcome to the world of Pythonistas. See you in the next video. Bye.